okay the first parameter is the gtk box v box and the second parameter is the menu bar okay like that so we add that add it to the box uh, actually we have three more parameters which i always press zero so don't want to feel expand or spacing and now uh, now we can run the program if I write a few things right here like gtk main and uh, gtk container add our container will be the window and we add the vbox to it and make everything visible so gtk widget show all window okay so if I pass it right here we can try to compile it but probably we will make a few error but don't worry about that okay let me see uh, line 7 Oh, we just forget that the most important thing, thing, import the GTK library. So, include uh, GTK slash GTK dot H. And now we can test it out. Alright, that is uh, better. Okay, uh, so, 47. Oh, to th I know what the problem is. This is void and this is from main. We returned with zero if there is a problem. Now we just return. Simple return. Uh, I don't know, did I mention that you can use return in case of void function without any return parameter. Uh, this, is this will be just exit the program without any parameter that exited. Okay. And... Uh, All right, first seven. All right, let's go a little bit lower, 106. Oh, semicolon. All right, and uh, 123 oh we don't declare the menu item uh, menu event so we just declare it okay static void menu event Okay, we just uh, declare it as an empty function for now. Later we will fill it. Okay, and uh, G pointer. Okay, now we can try to run it. And as you can see, nothing in here. So, let's see the source. Oh, probably in different order, because first we add to the container and then we can just uh, use the GTK widget show all. And by the way, we should use the G uh, signal connects to the delete event, so you know, we can exit from the program. So, G signal connect window delete event which is emitted whenever we click the X button uh, in the window and uh, we call the GTK main quit GTK main quit and we press pass null okay that's it now we can recompile the program so yeah, that's it. That's what we waited for. 
although this is so small for now that I cannot even move it as you can see we have a menu bar right here we can click the file and we can uh, click in here but because the GT uh, menu event is empty it's not do anything at the moment but we make a big step forward we have a menu the next thing to do is to actually make those uh, little squares which we write the numbers so the entries uh, to the screen okay uh, here we do that so we need a for loop for uh, do that and actually not one two for loop all right let's start so for int i equals zero i less than nine i plus plus okay so we just go uh, all of the lines okay and inside this for loop we make another for loop which go through the uh, rows no the columns columns this will go to through the columns and the other is the row so the outer is the row okay here we have to uh, make the age box uh, because we doesn't define the age box yet as you can see we just define the age uh, v box although we have an age box right here so we have to create that so gtk age box new okay that's it uh, we have to do that every uh, cycle when the loop is here because we want to make it a uh, new so an empty line which we fill it again and you know just things like that okay and here we need another for loop this will go to through the columns in j equals zero j less than nine j plus plus okay and uh, in here we have to actually make the entry and a lot of things okay so the vid you remember we define this with variable up here in global scope and uh, yeah this will be our gtk widget so vid aj equals to gtk entry new it requires no parameter as you may remember this uh, uh, so gtk entry new is create an empty uh, entry empty entry okay the next thing is to uh, set the max length to this uh, uh, widget uh, we want to set it to one so the user only can enter one character at max although i don't speak in the, uh, from this function i believe although it will be not too surprising that gtk entry set max length is the name of the function the first parameter is the gtk entry so cast it okay and the second parameter is uh, the number of characters this is the one okay and then we set a s set the size of it i tested it a little and 20 by 20 it seems uh, fairly good so gtk widget set size request okay and the first parameter is uh, the gtk widget which is with ij and the second parameter I uh, yeah, is the width and the third is the height so 20 by 20 seems fairly good okay then we pack it to this age box we just created here so gtk box pack start our box will be the age box and uh, and uh, you know we add the with i j to it and the other parameters the zero okay and now we do uh, actually not do for now because i want to show you how does it look without it so uh, we need a separator every third line and row you know okay the next thing is what we want to do is to add the vertical box to this horizontal box 
so this vertical box is contained now one row and we add add it to the vertical box so nine times all right so in here uh, we add it to the vertical box so gtk box pack start our box will be the v box because we add to the v box we add the age box to the v box and the other for zeros okay the, that's right we don't have to do anything else except we have to uh, no we don't have to do anything else to test it out i s believe so we will see all right here it is as you can see we can pass a uh, parameter right here uh, okay right he there okay that's it and as you can see it is always um, so it is the all of it is once actually there is no really separator right here that's why we have this separator va uh, variable defined earlier actually just declared earlier so here it is it will create a little separator okay and this help to separate to do that we use the uh, uh, j plus one percent time so this is the modulus so it will give zero if it can be uh, divided and uh, the three six and the nine can be divided so after those we want to do uh, put a separator okay so if it can be um, divide so it if it is dividable by three we just set the separator oh sep we just set the separator to gtk so gtk uh, in here we have to put a vertical separator because we want it to go down so we uh, we okay uh, new it requires no parameter and we don't use any member function of it i don't know the, is there any member function for separator never mind and we add this to the box so gtk box back start okay our box will be the age box we just created we add this separator to it and the others are zeros oh we have to cast it to a gtk box right there all right that's it and uh, that's all we have to do except we have to make uh, this not just the vertical line because now there are vertical separators but no horizontal separator so we have to make w uh, uh, those as well in here after the for loop so this will go horizontally you know okay to change it to a horizontal separator we use the a separator and here we use uh, i not j because we want the, the outer for loop to examine it and actually 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 mm, we have to change it to a vertical box because uh, you know we w uh, we add it to down uh, okay i don't know how clear is it but maybe not all right oh box not box box and here box too okay and uh, now we can try to compile it and run it and as you can see it has a little oh, uh, always seeable uh, separator uh, so which is not work as I expected because it's after two line not free okay this is weird but why exactly is it so um, let me think oh I know first we have to add the second uh, line and th uh, the third line and then add the separator not first add the separator and then the line okay now we can compile it and run it and as you can see we have this three times three uh, three a uh, rectangle uh, quite uh, good uh, you see okay the next thing is to add the button to it 
Gracias.